I did it and JP. I right, were rolling. All right, all right. Here we go. Boom! What the fuck is up, yo? Welcome back to the Wake and Bake. I'm those blind James, like always. You guys know where you can find our show on Instagram. That's at the Wake and Bake O H. That's the Wake letter N Bake O H on Instagram. Hook us up with that like and follow. You know we appreciate that action. And then you can pop over to Facebook and YouTube if you want to watch our interviews. That's at the Wake and Bake with Blind James. You can also listen on your favorite streaming platform. Tell your phone or smart speaker go ahead and play that, and it will. Last but not least. If you want to pop over to patreon.com slash blind games, you can hook us up with a little donation action that'll help us keep our show afloat and keep bringing you dope ass interviews like the one we're bringing you tonight from the oven, our favorite fucking place to be. And with me, as always, is the co host, the man, the legend, the Don, Don fucking Coops. What's up, dude? Oh, shit. You know, smoke out, smoke out, as always. You're always burning down so heavy over there. I smell a nice fucking hint of terps coming from that end of town, dude. Oh, um, fucking Lorraine County's finest. You guys can find him <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram at Don underscore Cooch, K-O-O-C-H. Hit him up for all your recording needs, especially out in the LC. Then running on our stream is Jake Pastor. What the fuck's up, bro? Yo, yo, what's going on? Dude, how you feeling this evening? Oh, I'm feeling a little tired. I've been up all day, but it's, uh, it's, all, it's all good. I'm well, calling a hard day's work. You know a little different for you being up all day. Huh? I know. Uh, yeah, I normally don't run like so much shit in one day, but I, I ran everything today. I fixed what? cars. I was at the studio, now I'm here. Gang it out, bro, Gang man. Gang it out. If you guys want to get your shit recorded from Jake Pastor, you can find him on social media at Jake Pastor Audio. Also, J-P-C-L-E, that's J-A-Y-P-C-L-E on all the social media. And then over here, playing us our tunes, making it all happen at the end of the day is our executive producer, Swaldo. What's up, bro? What up? My fucking dude, how you feeling, dude? Feeling gravy? What about yourself, dog? I'm feeling wavy if you're feeling gravy, my dude. Hey. 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 You guys know you can find Waldo on Instagram at Party with Waldo. You guys can also check out his fitness page, Party with Waldo, S W O L E D O. And then check out the car page, Metal to the Pedal, dude, M E D D L E. And then without further ado, our guest this evening. Super excited, man. K Dub Solid! Hey. What's up, man? How you doing this evening? Chilling like a villain. You feeling good? Oh man, I'm high as fuck. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we've been we've been smoking out over here, waiting for this bad boy. We're ready oh, yeah. now. We're rocking, dude. Ready like SpongeBob. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. Get it, cool. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. You know why? Cause the, the crusty crayon, crusty crayon, crusty crayon, pizza. For you and me, me. That was beautiful, man. K Dog, man. Tell the people where they can find you, my dude. Man, you can find me on Instagram at official K Dub Solid. And uh, on YouTube, K Dub Solid. Uh, I'm also on Spotify, same name, K Dub Solid. K Dash D U B S O L I D. Hell yeah, boy. And you were you were actually just dropping me one of the new hits that you uh Yeah, on release coming on my on my album. Oh, oh, see, we got a whole lot. We're gonna get oh, into that, yeah. but let's talk about that single real quick because that was a a nice little hitter and a good change of fucking pace from some of the oh, yeah. some of the uh, artists that we've had on, especially uh, as more recent, where it was like it seems like a lot of these songs is just about the same stuff over and over again, and they hit. Don't get me wrong, that shit I kick back, vibe, and smoke to, no doubt. Facts, facts. But sometimes they just get lost in the playlist, and that is what it is at the end of the day, and that's the music industry. Right. Well, you were playing with something new. Yeah, thank you. It is uh it's really new. I think it's different. I got a different vibe. I'm unique. Uh song's called Murder She Wrote for everybody that's listening out there. Uh it's de- definitely a different change of pace. It's very relative. What's going on right now? What's going on in the world? A lot of people dying out there. Uh for no reason. And it's yeah. kind of ridiculous. 100%. You know, like I just saw on the news right before I came here that uh some kind of shootout happened, and a, a one-year-old twin died because they got shot from a stray bullet. And it just is disgusting. It's like, man, too much violence. You oh, know? yeah. Way, way too much, man. That's, I brought that up during the uh, protest, man. I, there was a little 10-year-old kid who got hit by a car and taken out during the Cleveland protest. Yeah, I was like, dude, that. I was like, that shit's just, y'all are doing too much, man. Man, for Step real. back for a, <clears> one <throat> minute. For real. Just one minute, please. That's all we're asking. Just step back and look at what's going on. Let's reevaluate for a exactly. minute. Exactly. But uh, like your song, man, it was uh, it was definitely pertinent to what's happening right now. 
current times, 100%. Oh, yeah. uh, big fan of uh, how you also don't, you aren't just going in there with the lazy rap sound. No, not at all. I uh, I like to have that, that storytelling type of, um, you want to, well, what do you say? Let me replay that. Instead of, oh, hey, hey, you know, the same type of da 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 You know, right, yeah, like that Migo flow. No, I mean, it's dope. That's fine. I mean, honestly, yeah, if you're the ones, if you're like one of the OGs of it, is dope. But if you just keep copying motherfuckers, then you kind of lost his dopeness, huh? Right, like, that's like stepped on shit, bro. I'm looking for that pure. And, like, what I did say also in my song is, you know, everybody just wants to be the same. Everyone wants to fit in. Well, that's what everybody wants you to do. In my opinion, you got to be different. Think outside the box. You know, be your own person. Don't be like everybody else. Ain't that the fucking truth? Yeah, don't ride the wave, man. Right, man. No fun. You know, just hey, like... Ride your own wave, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. I was the one... <laughs> I, hey, I rode a wave or two. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. Man, um, I was just uh, told that, you know, put out what you want to vibe to. You know, if you put out what you want to vibe to, what? and people see you rocking to it, well, guess what? They want to hop on that wave. Hell yeah, they What's do. that? <laughs> What's this dude? Who is this guy? Oh, uh, this kind of sounds cool. This and now, is a, yeah, and this now is a new show. Not, how do we get in on this new type of shit? Right, you know, and yeah. everyone, you know, just wants to get in on that. And that's what that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make something different. It's more, but yeah, because in all in all, it's much more than just how the song sounds. It's creating uh, your your movement and brand as an artist. Exactly. As because as, you know, I, I can uh, say like your style of rap. There's other people that go out there and sing and kind of put that hip hop. You know, rhythmic flow. I guess right. that's a good yeah. way to, to, to name it uh, on their songs. Like a but, like, song. but yeah, yeah, yeah. But what what makes what makes it different? You know, obviously, you know, there's a bunch of these sing songy rappers out there, but they have to talk about it. it's all again. Like I was saying before, all talking about the same fucking shit all the time. Right, right. Where where's the versatility in not even just your sound or your music, but your lyrics in general? Because at this point, you know, I've heard the new style. But who's got something to say now? Right. Um, I think I got something really big to say. Definitely with my with my style too. Like I go I go and sit down and um I just spit what's from the heart, what's from the mind, you know, what's real. And uh people dig that. And if you it doesn't matter really how you sound, it's how you talking about it. You know what I mean, and if someone can right, relate, right, because you can't just you hop know, in a booth with like the the song you you have that you played me. You couldn't just go in there the and, freestyle, and right? right. You couldn't just have right. no emotion with that. No, you got to go in there and feel that motherfucker. Exactly. Otherwise, that song doesn't mean shit. Exactly. And um, I have another song. It's called "Those Painful Days." You guys can check that out on my YouTube page as well. Um, Is that off your past project? Um, it's actually on my on my upcoming project. It's just okay. kind of like I'm throwing it out there to. Keep on, little teaser. Yeah, you know, I like keep that. them in there. You know, hell yeah, I get it. Um, yeah. yeah, and that and that song, you know, I, I sang from the heart. You know, I'm yeah. not I'm not the greatest singer. I can do it a little bit, but um, you know, at the, but your emotion shines through, right? And I and people got tears going to their eyes, and it's just like, man, that's how you know when you at home and you're talking real, right? It's the words, man. Oh, exactly, it's and, it's, and exactly, mm-hmm. and just how it's. That's how you're saying it. I forget. Um, I saw an interview with a uh, Little Wayne one time. He's always t- and he said it's not what you. I've buy. never heard of him. No, really. No, I'm no, no, that's crazy. I'm with you, man. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, just it's not about what what you're talking about. It's how you say it. Oh yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's the biggest thing. Like, that's am I? What I, I, I don't mean to cut you <clears> off, but I do it. at the same time. Um, I do that a lot. <laughs> uh, with Wheezy, it's uh, one of those things where he can literally make up a word or like a phrase that literally, like, that doesn't make sense. And it's like, but hey, it fit in the song, and it's like, for what he was saying, it like, I guess it does make total sense. Right, exactly. Like, yeah, I got my bees with me. Yeah, you do, man. You you got your fucking bees with you, bro. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, all right. But it fit, you know? So right, right. we're going to roll with it. Right, exactly. And everyone did. Right, right. But um, it's a little bit, it's got to be a little bit different with you trying to put out an actual message. Yeah. And, um, you know, I do have some lyrical songs on the album and one genocide that I'm putting on there. And that's just... You know, I saw, I saw, I was watching that little Dickie Dave 
the, the Dave TV I show. I haven't watched oh, that yet, dude. I heard oh, it's a dope show. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah, it, it, it's really good. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody tells me to. And then, like, I'm at home, and then I'll be like, ah. Well, I guess I, I like, have to, man. And, um... There was a one episode, you know, he's sitting with somebody and, you know, he's playing him a song and he's, it's like, he's rapping fast and da 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 He's like, he shut it off. He was like, dude, what the fuck is this? He's like, well, I want to be the greatest rapper. You know, and, he, and he's just like, dude, I just feel like you're trying to cram my head with information. <laughs> you know, and then I thought back to this, the recent song I just dropped, Genocide. I'm like, that's exactly what I just did. Yeah. So I'm just like, well, let me throw a twist on this album. And it's called Roller Coasters. So it's that some singing songs, some, you know, from the heart stuff. Just yeah. kind of all over the place, like a roller coaster. Fuck yeah. That's, uh, what about your last project, though? Is it completely different? Is this a new um, style that you're going this for? This is actually, is like, this... my first project I'm coming out with. For oh, okay, I just, for uh, sure. In the past, I just kind of dropped stuff, you know, that had some lyrical like Singles and shit like that? Yeah, pretty much just like that. But this is actually my first real like project. full length type yeah, thing? Yeah, type project that I'm coming out with. So let's let's go through the progressions of you as an artist then. Like when did you start and realize you wanted to get into music? Like what were you uh what were you growing up on? Who you know, was it your fucking um, your mom, your dad, your grandma? Who was it that got you, you into music? It was actually my best friend. Really? Yeah, it was my best friend in uh middle school. I kinda just, you know, growing up listening to like Metallica, Pantera, Maroon Five you know, stuff that like that. That was random at, for those three <laughs> bands that you yeah, threw out yeah, there. Yeah, you know, it was. You know, no. that. But no, that's Outcast, very good. <laughs> I get it. Outcast, Andre 3000, Hell yeah. 50 Cent, like Eminem. That, that. It just went, it was just all over the place. And, yeah. You know, I was a kid, I was a kid I was jamming. Oh, yeah, I like this. You know what Fuck I mean? Yeah. But, and then now I'm getting older and I'm like, man, I could really, I really like doing this. Started singing a little bit. My dude's like, nah, that, mm mm. Rap. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, you know, I gave it a shot. And then he started showing me like Jay Z, a little more Eminem, um, you know all the older artists, uh, Biggie, Tupac, Easy E, right on. You know like all yeah. all the legends back in the day. And I'm just like, oh okay. And then you know, I just started listening to more rap, MGK, um, Montana 300, got in him. Yeah, he's Herbo. nasty. Yeah, you know, so I I just listen to a variety of artists and I kind of just pick and choose. Oh okay. Da, 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 and make my own unique flow out of it all. Hell yeah. But yeah, my, my best friend, Jacob Gordy. And then he, so y'all, when did you start making music? Um, I started writing songs in like high school, some corny ass shit, you know? Yeah, like, just the, were you writing right. like what what was like the hip hop, like hype shit at the time, just kind of writing yeah, along and shit like that? Right, you know, and then, um. What was that? What was your high school fucking, what was your, what was your playlist like from high school? Um, from Eminem, it was a lot of Eminem. Let me tell you. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. Like, what album? Eminem. When were you in high school? What album was the um, big one in, when you were in high school? I don't really give a shit about what what um what was the hype. What was your shit? Then? Like, what, was your, liked, what, um, what was your shit at the time? I liked Revival. Yeah. By, or, by Eminem. The Recovery or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Recovery, Recovery, yeah, 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 yeah Recovery. Recovery. That was like, man, Revival. I was like, wow, like, all right, man, this is dope. Oh, you know, Tech Nine. I, I liked fucking. I like Relapse. I'm gonna fuck with anybody. Yeah. Says, Relapse right. was great. I loved it, dude. 3 a.m. was a dope ass song. <laughs> I love that. It was like Slim Shady came back. And I no, was I, I, I'm ah. a big fan of Relapse as well. No, I'm fuck in that yeah. Unpopular. Beautiful. Thank God. Beautiful is one of my favorite like all time. Man. Hell yeah! See, I'm happy yeah, that we're all on the same was, page here. We go way back with Eminem. So fuck like, yeah, shit, that's an all time. That's a fun yes. song. You know? yes. I still crack a bottle. <laughs> Yeah, oh, great really fucking well. tune, dude. I'll fucking I, I, dude, yeah. play that shit right now. I'll dance to it, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. We might, you know, get yeah, this shit taken did. out. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, but maybe not afterwards. right now. But, but oh, maybe afterwards oh, we'll turn it on. Crack, yeah. <laughs> crack a bottle, crack a bottle, and crack a bottle. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Player. So, you like your high school playlist? You had M, and what else was on that? Um, some tech, you said. Yeah, some tech nine, so right. dope. Okay, uh, hell yeah. Definitely, and it, crazy, a lot of MGK. All right, definitely a lot of MGK. I had a lot of MGK. Um, he was after I graduated, but I'm an old. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm a semi old. Jay Sean, you know, Jay Sean back in the day. Yeah. Okay. Um. You know, just kind of varied from so that's stuff where, like that. And then what? You started writing your own raps and yeah. were in their styles. But then what? when did you progress and go, all right, man, um, this is how I can form myself as my own artist. When did you become K-Dub? Uh, I became K-Dub probably about like 2015 because my original name was Kane Wolf. Mm -hmm. And my buddies were like, 
Nah, that's that's. <laughs> that not sounds it. like a hipster guy who plays the banjo on. Right, yeah. right. You know, and, and I'm like, I was trying to grow up my hair too. So yeah, like, just, who like, do you play mandolin for, Kane Wolf? But, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so my buddy just started calling me K Dub, K Dub yeah. because Kane Wolf, you know, yeah. W. I'm like, I like, that. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then you know, I had a couple of rough patches that I went through and it made me solid. Hell yeah! And I was like, you know, K Dub solid. Word. Right you know what I mean? So. That's kind of where that came from. Right on. That's good, man. That's like, you know, I lost my eyes, so I went with Blind James, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Something else probably, you know. Like, really good hearing James just doesn't flow so good. <laughs> my favorite? I mean, if you say it really fast, like, four or five times, I bet it could flow great. Yo, really good hearing James. Like, uh, what up, not not <laughs> hearing impaired James. Dude. Not my, hearing impaired James, yeah. My favorite was, like, when I told my dad, I, mind you, I... I was I walked into my dad's house. I was like, "Yeah, I'm about to go run a podcast with Blind James," and he said, "Who?" And I'd been on this show for six months at this time. It mentioned Blind James. We had literally gone to California together. I yeah, numerous <laughs> times it mentioned this guy, and uh, he was like, "Why do they call him Blind James?" And I was like. Uh, uh, I don't know. Why does everybody else like, Because what? he's right. deaf, right. dude. Because he's like, deaf? Because he's deaf. His ears everybody don't fucking like, work. It's like the dumbest shit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because he's blind. Right. Yeah. Like, it's he has to dude. Personally self-explaining. I, yeah, that's normally what I think, and then, you know what, it's really funny, especially when we send, like, emails to people to get into, like, festivals and shit. We're like, hey, we're the Wake and Bake with Blind James, and they're like... Why do they call him Blind James? And I'm like, I'm sitting here with the same thing like a bewilderment Waldo had with his father. And I'm They're like, friends with my dad. That's what it is. Good call. They bowl. They go bowling together. They do. That's what they, they do. do. They all hang out. They're, They're in the a ping pong tournament people. thing together. Like, That's right. They do things like that. Professional. <laughs> They're, they have they have a botch ball club. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You know. That's the one, dude. <laughs> So like, oh, let's get back to the tunes, man. So when do you uh, start getting into the studio as K Dub so, Solid? Um, man, a lot of it started off as like, thank you, my friend. Oh, the, the guy that I uh, had feature on my uh, Murder She Wrote, that was like the first like studio I ever went to. It was in his bedroom, and I did a cover of some song. I think we've all been there, you know, you know some guy's bedroom studio, you know. Right, you know the norm. Yeah. <laughs> Some priest's house, you know, private person. <laughs> and um, so that was really my first time, like, you know, recording on a mic, and it was really professional to me at the time, you know. I was like, oh, shit, what the fuck? This is all new. This is cool as fuck. You know, oh, cool. I, I'm singing to a mic, and it's coming out of there, and I sound great. Like, awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, of course. Welcome to the Wake and Bake. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then... I just started writing my own my own stuff and started re- got a recording studio app on my phone. And that's what I started, you know, rapping into that, freestyling into it, you know, just making dumb shit. And at what point did you go? All right, I gotta take this serious and get off my fucking phone and get into a, a with some real fucking engineers it, and shit. It seemed like it was really hard to find people at the time, you know, when I was looking around, asking people around. Not a lot of people knew. Yeah. Like it always is. Right, exactly. Everybody kind of goes through that phase. Right, so it, I just kept doing it through my phone for a while. And I came across a couple of people that, you know, got their own studio. And I was like, hey, man, I got a couple of these songs that I got written down to a beat. That is out of me. Let me go in there and spit. And I want to say this was back in, like, 2018 when I actually got into, like, a, a decent booth, to be honest. Okay. I really started getting that professional sound that I wanted. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, you're pulling on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's that good. That's that should that, taste so good. That's so that, good. That's that special, son. That's, but, uh, that's that wake, that, that WNBS. And for the most part, I was just, you know, putting on my phone, playing a beat on another phone, rapping on that, throwing that on YouTube. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then finally came out with Unidentified. That was like just some be off YouTube. I got some lyrics to spit it, and it sounded dope as fuck. Hell yeah! You know what I mean? And then um, just just 
just this past project, I got, like, super serious with it. Yeah. Like, all right, now I need to, like, make sure I got all the rights to my beats. I got to make sure no, all this type of producer stuff. producer on your shit and right. all of that. Narrator. Yeah, of course. Narrator. Shout out to Anybody narrator. Anybody needs. Shout out to Signal Flow Studios. Man, for Sick. real. Greatest producer I've ever worked with, period. Yeah, I say I the like same it. thing about Jake Pastor, bro. Straight up. Oh, yeah, right. I, I still get to have... Uh, to work with him, narrator talks about him a lot. Oh yeah, and dude, you gotta have him master your shit, man. Oh sure. yeah, I'm you actually, got uh, to have Jake Pastor master your. If you don't have Jake Pastor's masters, you're not. That's where I was earlier. I was uh, shipping a master for another guy. I'll probably ship yeah. you on my whole entire album. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds good. That's Perfect. Definitely. Yeah, That's awesome. the lowest rates in town on the bus. Oh, yeah, I promise. I, that, I promise I'm that too, man. I'm I mean, with all that. You heard a sure. you heard a band like Tropidelic, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well then, guess who was their master engineer for their couple? JP. For the, yeah, for their for their song that, that got over me. a million plays. That's well, actually, they're, they're hitting oh, that yeah. mark with a few tracks now. Oh, are yeah, they? Yeah, so, mm-hmm. There was like feel- Leviathan and another one just <clears throat> fucking hit. Nice, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking slick. I feel like so a lot of my songs are oh, yeah. very mainstream as well. Because yeah. Because there's no cuss words in, um, most of my album, you know, for the most part, you know, I got my lyrical stuff that I'm really spitting hard and yeah. But that's really the only tracks that I'm cussing in. So like, you know, four out of you know six can go on the radio for sure. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? And have it's already a clean edit because I never swore in it. Oh, okay, for sure. So yeah. like, I try to I try to aim for that. You know what I mean? Because I want all ages to be able to listen to my music. No, you know, not I'm, just a certain. Oh, this is explicit. You can't watch this. You yeah, know, so right. agreed, agreed, agreed. Right, yeah, for real. That's like I was saying about your song that you were playing us earlier. What's it called again? I apologize. Murder uh, she wrote. Murder she wrote. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, with that song, man. Uh, it was something like I said. I could definitely hear that getting played like outside of some campsites and shit. You know, at like the end of the night when like the festival's winding down. You know, Hell the yeah. after party is kicking. You know, it's because it's it's good it's good wholesome music at the end of the day. Right. You can listen to the whole thing. It's friendly. Right. Very kid friendly as well. No, and then I love how my buddy comes in and with, with his with his singing talent. No, oh, yeah, and yeah, just, for just sure. Kill fan it, of man. that. Man, that just I love that song. So I much. love R and B vocals. So that's like right. I'm big on that. Um, how how'd you come across wanting to get him on that? Um, I, I, I went so to high school you, with him, man. Did you have an idea that you wanted to work with him for a long time, or was it just actually, like, uh, it you was, were like, I got this project going, that, yeah. I know my boy sings, what's up? It was, I was actually supposed to get on a track with a, a female, and, you know, I asked her about this back in, like, November, and just never, like, our schedule just never, like, correlated, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Never worked out for real. And, um... I was just like, you know what, dude? I, I'm not trying to wait on anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I feel that. And um, Mitch knows the kind of rapper I am, the kind of artist I am. You know, I talk about, you know, a lot of versatile things. Mm-hmm. And for a while, I was just spitting hardcore diss tracks to people. Motherfucker this, da 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 kill your family. You know, yeah. you know shit like that. And um, he was just like, yeah, I, I don't vibe with that. That's not really, you know, but I know this song he would vibe to. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, you know what? I know we can sing, and I sent it to him, and um, he was like, okay, I like the lyrics. Send him the lyrics first. And he was like, okay, I really like the lyrics. I sent him the beat. And he was like, you have your vocals on it. I'm like, not yet. So I went to narrator, started recording that, and then I okay. tried to do what I was thinking in my head. Let me hit this uh, joint right. Oh yeah, up. yeah, go ahead, man. Shout out to Fog Vapory, man, located 21446 Lorraine Road, Fairview Park. Tell them the Wake and Bake sent you. You get 10% off your whole purchase out there. They got full line of CBD products, flour, oils, all that shit. You guys need vape, nicotine, you want to quit smoking, all that. Head over there, Fog Vapory. You know what I mean? So, and I knew he could do it. And man, when I was in the studio and he was, he was doing, I was like, "This is this is it. This is it." You know what I mean? I felt like Michael Jackson. This is it. Fuck yeah. You dude. know what I mean? And uh, 
and <coughs> it was it was amazing. <clears throat> I uh, did my verse in his studio, um, and then I went home. He was like, I gotta figure out some lyrics, and then he sent me his his part, and now uh, we're just waiting on the track outs to be sent over so we can uh, fully mix and master it like how he wants. Fuck yeah! And then um, send it over to JP. Jerry, yeah, get it, get it, man. get it, mix and master once again because that can never hurt. Oh no, definitely. I mean, and, uh, not for what you're paying for, dude. Well, I promise right, exactly. you that, I know, bro. That's right. <laughs> and uh, then I'm not dropping it as audio. I'm dropping it as a music video. Yeah, yeah. You said that, so let's talk about that, man. Who are you getting in on this? Who's um, doing all this shit with you? How did this come to be? I don't know who I'm t- gonna get for a videographer. I got a couple in mind. Okay. okay but um, right you know, it just like I've been sitting and listening to the song, kind of getting ideas. Been asking a couple of my buddies, you know, like, hey, you want to be in this? You want to act in this? What are some of the concepts you've been running with or thinking? Um, of? well, I was thinking like, you know, people just chilling, sitting on a porch, chilling, smoking, you know, doing drinking, whatever, doing a thing, and then you know, little you Cleveland hear, style summertime kicking it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Car rolls up. Do 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 do. Oh. You know, what I mean, gunshots. You know, hear dispatch or whatever, da da da, and then it goes to. What I was just talking about earlier, you know, nine-year-old, one-year-old gets hit by a straight bullet. You know, I want that to be, you know, in my music video, the real newscast, and then go into the song. Hell yeah. And uh, kind of act out, you know, the act exactly what I'm saying throughout the entire song, you know. Have a real cinematic, really professional visual that people would love to go see, you know what I mean, and just attract a lot of people, attract a lot of content. You know? think about doing anything where, like, you wrap it up on a positive note or ever, like, getting something, uh, somebody to back it, like a foundation or something, just because of what the song is about? No, actually, um, I, I never did really think about that, to be honest. That's something you should think about, man. Like, one of the moves that I did with our upcoming single, uh, we love and are really big supporters of Bradley How here, Bradley's House. Shout, Shout out to the Noel Bradley. Family Foundation. Shout out. We love you guys, but, um... <laughs> You know, they're a, uh, a foundation where they run a rehab center for struggling musicians and the grips of opiate addiction. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. yeah. And uh, I myself am a recovered junkie. So hey, man, it's, man. Uh, I'm glad you're here with us. And, fuck me too, know, bro. I only had to lose so my eyes. You know? <laughs> but I, uh, uh, I was actually in a movie about opiate addiction and opiate epidemic called Common Creed, The Epidemic. No shit. I played, yeah, I played a part in there. And uh, you can find that on... Uh, Amazon Prime Videos and Apple TV. No shit. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. So you're an actor too, huh? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, no way. (laughs) Yeah. Let me finish shouting out Bradley's house. We're going to get into this. So (laughs) Bradley's house, man, again, you know, helping all those people. We want to shout them out. If you guys do want to donate, just look up Bradley's house or the Noel Family Foundation on any of your, you know, just look them up on Google, dude. They're pop-up. Donate. Get a hoodie. You know, get a Bradley's House t-shirt. We rock our Bradley's House stuff all the time. So, oh, yeah. you know, shout out to them. But yeah, it's something you should look into, what your song's about, finding a foundation. Yeah, for sure. Maybe, you know, something that has to do with kids and, you know. Yeah. Maybe even, like, you know, I know Cleveland has some good music foundations for, like, those uh, programs that they run for, like, uh, what are they, like, for, like, the latchkey kids and shit. Like, school after school programs that yeah. don't, for the schools that don't right. have a music program. Right, yeah, I should look, definitely look into that. That'd be something good. Um, my my buddy got me uh, hip to play a T Hollywood in the Hood. So I, uh, I contacted him, and I know that he does a lot of stuff for, like, kids and charities and stuff like that. So maybe I can hit him up on some, hey, you know, just That'd song. Be a move. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm glad Let you gave me that idea. 100%, uh, man. Most definitely, for That's sure. True type of shit i love doing man if you i hope more people can you know hear your message and get it out there it's a good tune i told you man i got i'm very i'm thank uh, I'm you humbled. i really appreciate it. i'm humbled very I, humbled i do tell you i think it needs a jake pastor touch to get mastered oh yeah it. that was actually just you the demo it. that was the demo y'all heard that's not that's not even something oh, okay. supposed to be and done all so right. All right. I'm, right. that's so why really i'm like man y'all jammed to that For so real. man yeah. i can't wait till it's fully 100 percent complete that's how I feel. You know dude. what I mean? You know, so, when you get a good hitter and you see people feeling it and they're vibing and you're like, all right. Yeah. We got something here we that, can work with. Oh, I yeah. like this. Oh, yeah. It's I definitely love it. good. So when are you planning on trying to get this uh, thing? You know, do you have a, a like a, 
a release date that you're thinking um, about or anything like that or a time frame that you're like you know maybe i'd like to get this out by winter definitely yeah definitely fall you know definitely okay. maybe august is really what i'm trying to push for next month okay you know latest is september but um what i will say is that this uh murder she wrote will drop and um a month after the murder she wrote music video dead ass a month later is um i'm dropping my album right on i think that's a smart move so um attract as much people and you know teasers as i can you know and then bam i dropped that album yeah who uh who all did you end up did you end up getting any other features on any of these songs uh, and people yeah, that you want uh, shout out that you worked with narrator oh of course, i want to yeah. shout out narrator 100 percent. he worked on every single one of my my beats on my song except one um just because i just was like man and it was those painful days and i was just like i don't really want to change this up i'm just gonna go ahead and buy buy it out right on so right on. i went ahead and did that and that's the old um not merch bro. i uh those painful days yeah that's the only song that's uh on the album that has uh not made my narrator dude yeah narrator is the fucking man um i've heard that he can do some crazy shit oh, for yeah. people in the booth vocally oh, yeah, he can. yeah? Oh, what's it how was your experience working with the dudes up at signal flow and you know getting linked up how'd you hear about them and get uh, streets ching ching actually i, I don't know oh, what you just said so no no him with the plaque on the wall yeah yeah streets ching ching my um yeah. my buddy my my buddy uh josh uh free josh by the way guys free josh yeah, yeah definitely free josh <laughs> but uh yeah he, he he was friends with him and you know he was showing me his music i'm like man this dude fucking dope you know what i mean I'm like, i want a feature and um i linked up with him i hung out with him a couple times Dude, Streets Ching Ching is a funny freaking cat. Oh. Okay. He is so fucking funny, dude. So we gotta get him on the wagon bag. Oh, phew, oh my god, yeah. If, if he'll do it. Yeah, he's, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. If he'll do it, definitely, man. Right. He, he's a funny dude. Yeah, he's worked with Jake Jack a long time. Yeah, uh, and then, yeah. uh, yeah. I, I Jake's got funny, dude. I like Jake, too. And, um, I heard, a, in the song, Signal Flow Studio, Signal Flow, I looked it up. Yeah. You know, I'm like, damn, this dude sounds fucking awesome. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I looked it up, and then that's when I, I got hooked up with Jake Jekyll. Fuck yeah. And uh, just started rapping. Fuck yeah. You know and what I mean? That's when you that's when you really were like, oh, man. Yeah, like, no, I was is, like, now this. This is a career now. We can, oh, yeah. we can get some work done in here. Oh, yeah, definitely. I spent a lot of money investing into this album, so. Did your, now, as an artist, did you change at all once you were able to get into, you know, a professional setting like that? Um, oh yeah, I think I, I changed out because I could figure out, I started figuring out my flow and, and like my sound. Your you know? signal flow. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely. And, um, I think that, <laughs> I think that Thanks, definitely, guys. um, made me grow as an artist for real. And then, you know, the, the music I'm listening to and the people that surrounded me, you know, stuff like that, um, but other than that, you know. I mean, having major artists, I mean, not major artists, but artists that are fucking serious about their craft that you see putting in twice as much work oh, yeah. as you, that makes you want to fucking go. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, you most know? definitely. I want, oh, I mean, who doesn't want to be on top? Right, 100%. You, you know what I mean? Obviously, I want to be the top dog. Yeah. And I just think that my content is completely different than what anybody else's content is. Right. Everyone else is talking about Gucci backpacks and you yeah. know, fucking bitches and... Dude, anybody can fucking rap about that. Yeah, that Everybody stuff is fun. Dude, I can rap about that right fucking now. <laughs> that's like, come on, dude. That's like the most simplistic shit. Can you be more... I think I might have rapped you know, about that earlier in my freestyle. Lines, I did you know for what Instagram. I mean? right. And I don't rap often. It what happened like, to the shit that was like one time for your mind type shit? Right. Ooh. Ooh. Well, like, like some old school T.I., man. T.I. versus Tick. Like what, like what happened to that kind of what happened to that kind of shit? Right though. Like now everyone's hibbity hibbity high. I fuck your bitch and I just had a blah. Like what the <laughs> fuck did you just say, bro? Yeah, like yo, there's some controversy. <laughs> right, I was like, like, all right, keep going like, though. Dude, there's some controversy <laughs> out right now. I even listened. I I even listened to the video. Um, I forget. It's little babies. Uh, little baby co-signed them or some shit like that. And uh, forty two mm. Doug or some shit. I I never heard of them until like today. You know okay. what I mean? And um. In his, in his fucking song, he's previewing his, like, um, I remember back when I was sucking dick, I had to pay the rent. Uh, uh, what? Uh, and then he's like, no, nah, uh, man, I was, I was fucking hoes, da-da-da, hoes, she, like, 
Dude. No, bro. <laughs> Hell, I know what I heard. I guarantee you, anybody in the whole fucking world will tell you that's what you fucking said. Like, no, 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 no. It's hilarious. You know what I mean? Like, what the, like, what the fuck kind of shit is that? And, and, and these are the artists everybody loves. But they are here you dick to pay the rent. Who do you think really kickstarted the this whole fucking movement of like this music that is just you can get it's all about being fucked up to? Mmm. Chicky. You think so? <laughs> I don't know, I'd be like Young Thug, man. Well, um, yeah, 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 okay. Is it more like you started it? Or I think who, who more like actually Who mainstreamed like, it is what I'm thinking. I mean I, I feel more. like I feel like as a group they mainstreamed it. Not just yeah. one person. I feel you're like right, you're this right. person was like, oh, I can do this culture. and this way. Yeah. You know, right. future. You know, Gucci, yeah. fucking yeah. Gucci. Gucci. Oh, my God, Gucci. Yeah, yeah. oh, my God. And I, I, I'm guilty of it. World War III lead. Like, oh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm 100% about it. Like, man, yeah. most definitely. I love that future. shit, Future, Future, definitely. Remember Icy? So Icy was fucking, I love that. I love that. So Icy Entertainment. Zucci and Juicy, bro. Holy shit, that's I loved that shit, man. The old ice cream paint job days. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just all, I mean, obviously hip hop needs to evolve. Everything needs to evolve. Always. You always. know, but like. It's always evolving, though. Right, but, so, you, know. you know, right now I feel like we're just in that stage where it's a war on mumble rap and uh, the lyrical rap. Well, let's try to, like, mix it. Why not mix it? Yeah, why can't it be? Bro? You know, like you know what I mean. So that, I feel like that's what I try to do in my music. Everybody wants that dope fucking beat. That oh, hit. what the fuck is this? I want that hit. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And then afterwards, you start listening to that beat so much, you're like, what the fuck does this do, son? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm then, guilty of that. You know, I am too, most definitely. 100%. Even as an artist, I'm guilty of that. Shit. I'm way guilty of that. You know what bro. I mean? I'll be like, man, dude, this little baby's so hit. About and I start 40, listening to what he's saying. I mean, I'm about like, to be like 40, 50 right, listening man, that deep until I finally than what understand. The fuck you just said. Right? I'm like, he ain't even saying nothing. But like, little <laughs> baby, he, he's pretty dope, though. I mean, I'm you fuck with the baby too. The ba- oh hell the yeah, is funny. dude, man, he's funny as fuck. I hear about all fuckers on IG. Dude, oh, oh my god, yeah, he's funny as hell, man. I just, I just saw a video about him saying that he wasn't gang affiliated, and that was funny as hell. <laughs> you should definitely look it up on, uh, you can look it up on Vlad TV. Uh, Vlad, Vlad TV, TV. Okay. no yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I know. Instagram too, Vlad uh, TV. That's where uh, I found it at. So yeah, and I thought it was funny as hell, dude. Dude, that's fucking Definitely hell. Got I love that show too because he, yeah, he always has some funny shit on yeah, there he does, right? definitely. all the time, all the time. It's uh, there's there's been some good internet shows that popped up, especially during quarantine. I think it opened up a lot of uh, chances for some artists and people that you know do shit like I do to really, I guess, I guess get outreach going and branch right. out to a new style and shit. Which is again, you know, why I wanted to get you on the show, man, because I told you oh, off yeah. rip from the first time narrator played me your shit. I was like, oh, I want to get this dude on my fucking show right away. His rap oh, is different. Yeah. Most definitely. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, 100%, man. It's, it's, it is what it is, man. Like, over and over again, I've been saying this whole like, whole time. Um, something different is always what I look for. Most you definitely. You can give me something that I'm like, even if it's something that's, like, refurbished, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's I'm doing like, a What's Poppin' remix by Jack Harlem right now. And, dude, I feel like <laughs> I killed that shit. Dude, see, that's you what I've I mean? heard some like, old, like, some shit that's starting to come around is, like, these old, like, 2000s club remixes of shit, man. And yeah, I'm like, oh, like that too. I'm like, all right, I can get back into this because I was really into like the southern and crunk fucking like right. hip hop back in the day. Hell yeah. So I'm like, oh man, yeah, I can get, type shit. Yep, I can get behind <laughs> all of this again, 100. percent I'm like, yep, keep getting hype, motherfuckers. Let's do it. I'm like, I'm sick of everybody being on lean all the time. Where's yeah, the right. Give yeah. all these motherfuckers cocaine again. I want to hear them party, dude. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. yeah dude. Yeah, I want right. to hear some uppity ass. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. I'm like, like, God yeah. damn. Hey, man, y'all want some uppity, man? Definitely go check out my uh, music video on YouTube, Genocide. Yeah, the, so Definitely. that one's been up? Yeah, oh, when yeah, did you that, drop that? About a month ago, man. I got 1.2K views. Nice, bro. So, and. You know, so you're pushing, me, that you're was starting to push finally. That's, that's you know, good. For just a music video dropping, you know what I mean? I got, that's I got hard to do on YouTube, bro. I get about 80 views a video on YouTube, bro. Yeah, dude, and that motherfucker's month, a bitch to In break. three weeks, I had 1,000 views. That's what's up. I was like, dude, I, I just pushed this shit on fucking Facebook. Fuck you, know, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't, I didn't do anything else, and it's just like, it's awesome that, you know, through people sharing it on Facebook, 
and uh, me just sharing it. You know, I got all the love that I did. That's you know, the way so, to do it, man. We're and I shout out everybody key. that went ahead and checked out Genocide and everybody that commented and uh, subscribed. Hell yeah. That's what shout out to all my fans. Salad Squad. Fuck yeah. So, Waldo, man, you got anything about uh about this dude's music that you wanted to drop? I know that Waldo and Cooch are both more hip-hop connoisseurs than I am, so I want to get their opinion on the tune that you played for us earlier. Okay. Okay, so I know you said that, like, big influences for you were, like, Eminem, Tech 9 MGK, but, like, for Murder, She Wrote, even, like, who was the biggest influence for you for that um it would be a couple of people it's gonna be juice world who you know, okay. R.I.P. juice world for sure definitely r.i.p juice world you know he had a different message you know and uh and whatnot and my my buddy jake once again the guy who got me into rap once again jake um he just like man like i get you can do that lyrical rah 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 shit man like do do something different bro so okay. I started doing some shit different, and he's like, hit home, bro. That's that fucking crack. You know what I mean? So that, you know, definitely that was a big influence on that. Um, you know, just listening to different artists lately, but definitely Juice World, dude. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, you it's know? like a sound that you were emulating. I could hear that, you know. Yeah, you but know, like... just pretty much, yeah. Juice World and my buddy Jake just kind of pushing me to step out of my boundaries of what I usually do. You know so what I mean? Uh, I really I wanted to ask Cooch because that song Lightweight reminded me of one of the of the artists that he works with most Slagle how he does more of uh that 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 style the same song he rap where it's uh and and it's more soulful shit it's where you relatable. actually gotta listen it's right all, it's all relatable exactly you know? so yeah and that's that's like I feel like that's the biggest thing nowadays to catch anybody just can <coughs> can it relate you know if it don't yeah, relate right. then it don't correlate you yeah. know what I mean. Exactly. So, that's how I feel, and I try to make anything that can relate. Like, those painful days, anybody can relate to that. You know, I went through a breakup, and it fucking sucked. You know what I mean? And right. I read about it. You know what I mean? And it brought tears to people's eyes. You know, my buddy's mom was like, dude, I just went through something like this. I'm like, perfect. You know what Always I mean? Always relatable to someone. You, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, I have another song out, but I don't have the copyright to the beats or nothing. On that one, but I just keep it out because it's a good message. You know, it's called Make It Tomorrow. And you know, that's just like people come around just to borrow. They don't give a shit about what the fuck's going on with you. If you got some, hey man, I need a couple dollars for, you know, whatever, you know, my, my electric bill or whatever. Yeah. I'm a couple, I'm like 20 bucks short. Can you help me out? Nah, nah I don't give, they don't give a fuck about that. You know what I mean? I feel you. you Especially know, on that relatability thing Cooch was talking about. I think that's what, uh, I think drew me into the first song that narrator was blaming me by you was that uh i was like oh see there we go i was like see i can't i'm a blind guy i can't afford a gucci belt right <laughs> <laughs> like i can't afford a fucking gucci belt anymore. right no i'm i'm bitches. engaged i don't i don't fuck bitches like that anymore i'm afraid of them i think i might get caught because my dick might smell bad for three days <laughs> Ooh. you know what i'm saying dude <laughs> i don't want to go home and you have to you know fucking sand scrub my shit dude i'm cool Right, <laughs> Sand scrub. Dude, that's how painful as hell. Hell yeah, dude. You know what I'm yeah. saying, man? Shit. Wear that rubber, guys. <laughs> like, yeah, if he, anything, just wear the rubber strap at three. I four, mean, five but that shit sucks, bro. Dude, I'm dude, not gonna lie. The whole area lie. gets covered. That, man. that whole... sucks. Yeah, it's all. Wear just a hazmat suit, dude, man. They get caught in the Especially if you up in Cleveland, man. Bro, I'm getting really. It gets thrown dog. Definitely. Jake T knows it get caught up in the lion's mane. You know what I'm saying? If you're rocking bush, bro, you don't want. That shit, you know, and then it's, you know you got credit. Let's no, all, you learned your lesson. Hey, and you let's all keep it. Lesson. Let's just all keep it real here, man. It's like when you go to take a piss later, and it's like got the it comes in like that weird like stringy strand. You know what I'm talking about? You ever? <laughs> no. Well, you, don't lie to me. No, it's I like don't you lie pull it. Really. You know, <laughs> it's like when the when the juice dries up. All right, dude. I'm. Oh, <laughs> I'm talking about you, you yeah. Ever, you know, me, myself, and Irene were in the shower. Yeah, yeah like that stuck. one, dude. And you're like, fuck, dude. It's like it's all over. Yeah. Damn. Happens. Yeah. Happens to the best of us. It does, doesn't it, JP? Ooh. 
Jesus. Thank you for knowing. <laughs> Get some baby wipes handy for real. Huh? Hey, hey, it's a call, man. Baby wipes and shots, and it's a family company. Yeah. yeah flushable dude, ones right. for the bathroom. Never a bad idea, then. Never, dude. You hey. You treat yourself to some flushable wipes if you already don't. Like, PSA. Facts. Yeah. That's what I'm running out to. Right? Yeah, I don't know if people are uh, hip to them, the flushable wipes, man, but. Definitely hop on it. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure, man. Especially like being a blind dude, man. Wipes are crucial, bro. All right, no I doubt. got to make that. sure my ass is clean, dude. Got to, man. All right, there ain't bananas out here shit. in the U.S., you know what I'm saying, man? I can't just hop up on the sink and spray my fucking asshole whenever I'm out in public, dog. <laughs> right. Maybe I got to keep a couple pocket wipes with me, a couple of them Procter & Gamble, you know, little folded hitters, dude. Proctologist yeah. & Gamble. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just go ahead and dab it clean one time, dude, and then do a dry run just to make sure everything's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, baby. Relatable, I've done it. Fuck Boom. yeah. <laughs> Full circle. Yeah, just to throw it out there, but yeah, that's facts, mm-hmm. dog. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. So, uh, when after you drop this project, man, what's your plans for the future? Obviously, Mixed shows tape. and shit like that are shut down, but right. like, um, what are you going to keep doing? Dropping the m- singles or what? Pretty much, you know, um, just kind of working on a mixtape, but I'm going to drop, you know, remix after remix after remix of all, all these little industry beats that I found. Okay. I feel like, you know, okay, I did a, a completely original ass, you know, project. Now let me just, let me just fuck around. I mean, let me see what I'm really capable of out of my boundaries of my originality. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree. And, Keep pushing yourself, especially while and there's I, uh, all, you know, not much else man, to do. I think I did a pretty good motherfucking job so far. Hell yeah. Man, I can't wait till the JP. 29th when I go to Signal Flow Studios and Ooh. go ahead and finish my, uh, finish my album up and record on What's Poppin' Remix. Fuck yeah, dude. And that'll, uh, that'll be dropping, too. You're going to do a video for that one? Um... I mean, if I can, can, can I do that? You know, because it's not my beat. It's, you know, Jack Harlow's or whoever the fuck made the beat. I don't know, I mean, man. Am I, allowed, am I allowed to go ahead and make a music video for that? Shit, I don't know, I dude. Know, boy. I don't know. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's something I should have been say that, um, at this time, you can, uh... Yeah, I would say it's a soft, maybe not. Soft, yeah. probably <laughs> not. Soft, probably not. Yeah. Right. Soft, see how much In it fact, would cost you. Yeah. Can't really <laughs> like, maybe, but it'll... Like, Probably like cost the, you a couple G's. Video, yeah. yeah. It'll cost. For sure, it's yeah. going to cost you a little bit. Oh, yeah. But, you know, anything can be done. Anything but, like, can be done. But that's but why again, I want to drop a mixtape because the <laughs> mixtapes <laughs> don't, you don't have to have. I mean, look what Lil Wayne did. Just took up a whole bunch of motherfucking beats. Yeah, same thing. Do it out there. SoundCloud. Let's let's go, exactly. Go YouTube yeah. and SoundCloud. Yeah. Boom. Those are the two platforms they're going to be on. You know, and that's if you want to listen to me, boom, go there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. That's how I'm gonna do that and just keep dropping remixes and remixes. Get down on title too. That's what I do. Oh, you know, definitely. And then maybe throw in a couple of original songs, you know, if I'm feeling it, feeling the vibe. No, but definitely. I do got a daughter now, so like that's uh that's also gonna have to slow me down just a tad bit. That's also gonna change some of the weird. Yeah. Oh well actually working. it already has in, in this in this album roller coasters and yeah. painful days, you know, it's uh you know, I gotta stay strong for my daughter. You know, uh, yeah, you know, sure. even though that hurt and all this extra shit, well, now I got I got to be strong for for my little one. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's that's a big thing too. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, that's uh, it's something that you always got to keep into account. And then, like I said, moving forward, having a kid, that's gonna change your perspective on some shit. Oh, it definitely you does. Know, some for shit sure. that you may have been hardened about before, it ain't gonna, you know, matter as much to you. Did, uh, <laughs> that bowl over here? I thought I heard it. You're a bowl. No, just the lighter. Ah. Where'd but it's token. But it's uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, she rolled go. There it is. That's the one I was looking for. Mm, hey, man. that hit that y'all gave me when I first came in, that was some murder she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Tell yo, I was... Yeah, dude. Calm, bro. <laughs> it was inspired by your song, <laughs> Yeah, you know? sometimes we wrong. sometimes we do really strong work here on the Wake and Bake. You Definitely know? shout out to Wake and Bake. We try, mm-hmm. brother. Hey, man, shout out to you for coming yeah, on k Dog, man. Yeah, hey, thank you. You guys That's ready right. to wrap this bitch up? Hell yeah. All right. Waldo, you want to give me a song, man? Hey, k Dog, tell people where they can find you, dude. You can find me at official k Dub Solid on Instagram, k Dub Solid on YouTube, and Spotify. Get it, man. And uh, if you want to go follow my Jake, personal Jake. account on Facebook, you can definitely go do that. That's Kyle J. Schultz. And uh, my Facebook page is k Dub Solid as well. Fuck yeah, man. 
Oh, and also Snapchat. That's just Kato style. Oh, you Snapchatting? Yeah, I did it most definitely. And if anybody's gaming out there too, I'm on Xbox. I don't give a fuck what anybody say about Xbox. But I'm on Xbox. And that's Kato oh, solid, man. I keep it solid. I'm solid across all the platforms. I like to keep it all. Keep it consistent. I like, I like it. Yeah. Okay. You want to find me, Kato solid. Get it, dude. Where can you find me? Everywhere. Google me. Kato solid. <laughs> Go ahead and Google me. I'll pop right up. Hey, Swaldo, man. Thanks for running that shit, bro. Very, very welcome, sir. Hey, man. Where can people find you, dude? You guys can find me on Instagram at Party with Waldo. You guys can. Uh, that'll be all the bong lyrics, glass content. You can also follow my fitness content at Fitness with Swaldo. S W O L E D O. Or you can check Jake and I out at Metal to the Pedal. M E B D L E. Jake Faster. Thank you for running the video, my friend. <laughs> no problem, brother. Tell people where they can find you, sir. Uh, you can find me anywhere, Jake Faster Audio. Or uh, J A Y P C L E. Yeah, I also do that metal and pedal, man. I just got a post earlier today. We had a Monte Carlo SS in the shop, and it was, uh, it was what it was. It was a bitch ass alignment job. It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it was what it was, though, huh? But it was a dope car. The Fuck 454. It, Ooh, love it. 71, though. My dad's got 70. I like 70s better, but. Here, a little Our fun. stuff, man. This guy, this fucking dude. Don Cooks, <laughs> man. Thanks for running this out, bro. Oh, yeah. This month right here is always, man. Yeah. Fucking right, man. Tell people where they can find you, dude. Uh, yeah. You can find me at Don underscore Cooks. That's Don underscore K O O C H on Instagram. Hell yeah, man. And thank all you guys for stopping by. Waking and Bacon. Uh, you guys already can find us on Instagram. That's at the Wake and Bake OH. That's the Wake Letter and Bake OH on Instagram. Look us up for that like and follow. We love that shit. And then you can watch our show on Facebook and YouTube at the Wake and Bake with Blind James. You can also listen at your favorite streaming platform. You can tell your phone or smart speaker to play it. It will. And then last but not least, you're going to pop over to Patreon.com. Slash Blind James. Hook it up with that donation. Help us keep our show afloat. Keep bringing you dope-ass interviews like the one we brought you this evening. Again, thank y'all for stopping by Waking and Baking. And remember, even if you lose your sight, never lose your vision. Peace! Peace. Deuces! JP made it. <laughs>